Cowabunga, dudes! This is Nate Rage and, and my beautiful wife. Princess Harris 12. And we got ourselves some Walmart exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Classics Secret of the Ooze 6 inch collectible pickas up in here. And these, I gotta say, I mean, there's the older ones that from the classic line, but these look so much better. Plus, they actually come out fucking accessories. And that's that's just sweet. All right, let's bust these open. You, yeah, you, yeah. to power. Start with Leonardo. Leader. Yeah, start the leader. Where's Mr. Cutty Cut? Shoot, right here. Mr. Cutty Cut. Got cut. Woo. Now these are from Nickelodeon this time. I'll merit the last, I think the last one's from Nickelodeon too. The last classics, which they were going to have a Krang and a Shredder, which I couldn't wait for. And the motherfuckers decided not to do it. But then these came out, so hopefully we'll get a Krang, a Shredder sometime. And also hopefully, since we already have to be up in Rock City, we'll get a Tokon Razor to go with Secret Ooze figures. And since there's four, hopefully we get Tokar, Razor, we'll get Splinter, and we'll get that badass Shredder. I love this movie so much. I mean, I love the first intro of the movie a lot, but that second one, it has that right mix comedy. Fucking Shredder going, the babies! Babies! Because Tokar, Razor, like, mama! Mama! Yes, and seeing Vanilla Ice in it. Yeah, Vanilla Ice just pops up. He's like, the book? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ninja, go ninja, go. I was like, <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> See, this is Leonardo with accessories. This guy's two katana. He's got the T G I R canisters. One's open, and one is a uh, closed. Although it looks like it's missing a little bit of a uh, paint, which. I'm a uh, <clears throat> playmate's kind of known for not having the greatest paint jobs. My fr my friend uh, Pixel Dan kind of talks about this a lot. But I'm just cracking open out of this his uh, plastic shell. Now I may look at the face folds and stuff of all of them, but they all pretty much will have the exact same articulation. Which is kind of obvious because they're pretty much all the same sculpt, just different colors. Now see how the weapons fit. You got, they don't, they don't, the katanas don't fit great in his hand. You got to kind of squish them in. Uh, yeah, they, they don't. <clears throat> the fingers are articulated. They hold all right. Face sculpts a lot better than the last the last classic figures. They got the greener collar. Yeah, the katanas don't want to hold too well. You got to press down really hard to get it to. <clears throat> there we go. And it falls out of the other one. Anyway, it's pretty cool, about six inches. Goes to any great nerd collection, natural collection, or there we go. anything. It goes on his back. His seats for his katana. Just pop that right in, like so. And you put the other katana in the back here. And you grab one of these, uh, I think I'm going to go with one of the vials. Well, this one's the one popped out. See, it's one of the vials. She's like, ah, it just popped off my hand. Ah, I'm going to mutate again or something, dude. Ah, crap. Like, someone threw it, like somebody at him and it popped out. There's him holding one of the canisters that isn't like open. Yes. It's pretty cool. <coughs> I 
and the heads, I think hopefully this pop, oh, it's a big ball joint, see? So I think it just popped right off. And the head, a little hard to get on, but once you get it on there tight, it works pretty good. That one looks, that head sculpt looks okay. It's kind of looking a little kind of surprised and mean. He's like, grrrr. Kind of a Leonardo yeah, face or a poopy face. Yeah. He's got, if you look closer, he's got more. He's got kind of a happy one and one that's even meaner looking at the very bottom. And he's got some Ninja Throwing Stars. Because every Ninja Show got come with Ninja Throwing Stars, yo. <clears throat> now let's take a look at the articulation. Arm movement. It's perfect. He's got his fingers already articulated a little bit. The original ones weren't. The original classics weren't. I don't know because articulation is kind of iffy. And if you look close, it don't look too great. He has a little bit of ab crunch, which is always good. Legs spread out pretty far. Remember, I'm only talking about articulation once because they're all pretty much the same sculpt. Swivel on the legs. That's always good. No ankle pivot. But he does have a little bit of ankle articulation. His feet are articulated. The little turtle feet, toes are a little articulated. So be like, look at my toes. Tiki -tiki -tiki. And he bends so he can have him sit down. Sort of. Somewhat sit down. Or if you have him like in a <clears throat> well, his neck a stand or something, he go Wah! like he's jumping. That's pretty cool. So, I have the figure so far. I definitely like this Leonardo. Alright, let's crack over Michelangelo. Let's crack open one of my favorite, my second favorite, my Mikey, favorite. and my wifey Pooh's favorite. I love Michelangelo. He's, he's a funny. He's my favorite. He'll always be my favorite. And I remember the old cartoon in the 80s that most of the 20 <coughs> something year old Nistral fans remember is <clears throat> Mikey would always have the weird pizza combinations that he'd always like and was always damn hilarious. Maybe. Well, she's doing that. Oh, where's Cutty Cut now? Beside me. So I'm just going to cut. I'll crack open my up. favorite, Raph. Which, the movie, not a lot of people realize this, but he didn't always have the loner add to, kind of like Wolverine has. He's like, I go where I want to go. Screw you, Leonardo. I ain't gonna follow by your rules. He don't always have this attitude, actually. It was part introduced in the comic later in the 90s. The movies. In the first movie and the sequels. The cartoon, he actually is more of a smart ass, which I also like. There's the rat figure. Comes with his size. Comes with different head sculpts, switchable heads. Comes with ninja stars. Comes with a pizza! I think Mikey would be the one coming with the pizza. No, Mikey comes with donuts. And he comes with a uh, a sewer lid where he can use like kind of a uh, like a shield, which is kind of cool. I would like to show him like Mikey before he's out. There's it. the Mikey figure. Already did that. He comes with his nunchucks. He comes with the pizza. He comes Ooh. with. The <clears throat> he comes with <clears throat> the. Oh, what's that part? The salami nunchucks. Comes with that. Comes with uh, the donuts and the donut box, which he tries it. If you remember from the second movie, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it already, but most of you fans have, the Secret Lewis movie, he uh, tries it. They all try to trick Tokar and Razor in eating these donuts that are filled with the uh, reverse serum. <coughs> it's a reverse mutagen that they transform them into the normal animal babies. Cuts, which is off the hilarious again because they, they were babies! Oh my. Yeah. I hate these plastic things. Coming out of my shells. Coming out of our shells. Come on, Mike. 
Yeah. Go, Raph. Since Raph's a tough one, he just broke the hell out of that. Let's see how well his hands work with the katana. Mm -hmm. Alright, got one of Mikey's nunchucks out. Raffles Katana pretty well. <clears throat> He's got this angry face. I'm probably gonna keep I'm not sure if I might keep that on him. He also has kind of a happy face. Middle face kind of is kind of a smart these last two are smart ass looking faces. I don't know, I might have one of the smart ass looking faces on him. That's what kind of ways He's known for a lot too, being a smart ass. And besides the other, the other uh, side, you can put this sewer uh, top on there, which I don't know if I like that. It kind of looks weird because the way they should have covered this up. I, I don't think I would use that. Can't find his other side though. There it is. What I always like to do, I have one side like that. Right now I have a figure of uh, Raph. And another side like that. He'd definitely be one that <clears throat> you would have like jumping in the air like Wah! Oh, and he also has uh, pockets on his belt. You can kind of put his side in like that. It's still pretty cool. Let's check out probably the most important accessory. The initial fan. The pizza, dude! He's like, dude, I got the munchies. I'm gonna eat some pizza. All you plus want some pizza? Yeah. Please. Please, Playmates and Nickelodeon. Make another ser make a series two with Tokar, Razor, Shredder, and Splinter. That would be so so awesome. From especially from this movie. Yes, and this came the booklet. This this series came the booklet too of the. Mostly, I think they're mostly the figures from the new movie that came out, which was a uh, now the shadows. It's on the which top. Was, it was a pretty good movie. And these figures are pretty cool. I like the what I like the most is the alternative like a uh, versions of them. Like they got pirate costume Michelangelo, stealth disguise Leonardo, Raphael in wingsuit. I think the pirate Michelangelo is the only one I'd probably want out of the series, which is hilarious to me. I'm a pirate, dude. That's what I, I can imagine him being like. Come yeah, on, of course. Mikey, stop he has angry face. Stubborn. I get Mikey. Yeah, I got, I got, I got my out. And they're all, all the figures are the same size. We have to make a splinter figure. Go up and be like, I made another funny. Ha 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 And of course, if they made more figures like the first ones, you could always make a badass Casey Jones figure from the first movie, which was also awesome. There's Michelangelo. Here's Mikey. Now he's kind of a bright orange, which is really cool. He's got this kind of silly, derpy face on him, which I like. Yeah. He probably comes, should go with the pizza more. Um, I see him holding the pizza. And nunchucks, just, he has another, he thinks you put in the back. Very carefully, kind of just, as so. Now these nunchucks, they are uh, kind of metal-ish. Like, I think they're plastic with metal like on top of it. Like a thin layer of metal. Which is really cool. Really shiny. And it fits his hand pretty good. And of course, one of my favorite accessories it comes with. Even though it's one of the silliest Silliest damn parts of the second movie, excuse me, is <clears throat> the sausage, or was it a? Uh, wasn't sausage, it was salami. Nunchuck salami. I 
can't remember the joke he made, but it was pretty funny. Let's put the donuts in there. And it's a box of donuts, which why they had to make a token on Razor so you can act like they're offering to him or something, which is hilarious. The box isn't really articulated. I don't know how she got the my wife got the donuts in there. All I had to do is just stick them in there. See, the little donuts. Where's the box cutter? Uh, that's the one that actually had the verse sermon in it. <clears throat> Mr. Cutty Cut. There you are, Mr. Cutty Cut. He's got a PhD in slicing. So he just put them in this box. He has a Simply Donuts logo on it. Which is pretty nifty. Silly Mikey. Even though, for a good amount of the movie, since they were trying to be more go with the kids, they actually didn't use their weapons as much as you think they would. So they put put them in the back, and he put the silly hmm, weapon right. here. <coughs> I think Mikey was like Ninja Cold Cuts or something like that in the and movie. Donatello. There's Donnie. Smooth Donatello. Well. That's in the new cartoon, not in this one. This one, Donnie's just more of a kind of a smart ass geek in the Secret Lose, but he's still pretty funny. Yeah. And it's that Wiffle Bat, because in the part, the first part of the movie where they meet, where they meet Kano for the first time in the mall, he stands like a dummy, and he's like, after they push on him, and he's got his Wiffle Bat, and he goes like, bong. You're not, not, uh, no, That's pretty damn funny. That's probably one of the funniest parts of the movie and most ridiculous parts Take of the movie. Staff. If you're an initial fan, if you didn't like the newest movie that much, watch the first two from the 90s because they are great. And the second one's hilarious. But for, if you re unless you really want to see it, do not watch the third one. Third one, it's, it's trash. I mean, she doesn't even watch the third one, she knows it sucks. It's on. Net it's the only one on Netflix too, which kind of pisses me off. I want the first two movies on Netflix and third one. Third one, if you want to complete the series of the original trilogy, then I suggest watching it. Besides that, it's still not as bad as the musical stuff and shit. But <clears throat> don't. I mean, I mean, if the stories and everything's cool, but they just try to make it too childish. They gave them freaking freckles everywhere and stuff in that movie. I don't know. Bad, anyway, there's Donnie. For some reason, Donnie has a mean face. I think I would go more with the uh, one of the smile, one of the more kind of smiley head sculpts. Jesus Christ! The very bottom one looks like a fucking the mask almost. So he's kind of like crazy. That's not very much Donnie. I think the first two. I like the first two. I don't, know, I don't like Donnie's head sculpts very much. What I do is take. I'm gonna show you his other accessories in the movie. So, take his <clears throat> staff, put it here. There's a wiffle bat. Oh. Uh. Fist to a has fist to his hands like hell. In a mop for some apparent reason. He also used the mop at one point in the movie, like his uh, one thing. Which is kind of cool. It's really heavy though, but <coughs> I don't know if I'm use the mop. I mean, if you don't like the movie that much anyway, at least they're really badass and show figures, like they're really articulated, have a lot of accessories and everything. Really great. Yeah, great paint like us jobs. Only wish that Playmates painted a little bit better on the weapons and stuff. Maybe put white on here instead of it all brown. But for the most part, it's pretty damn good. And I definitely rate these uh, 10 out of 10, or 10 pizza slices out of 10 pizza slices, dude. Do you think these figures are good, honey? Yeah. I enjoy them. I mean, I think they keep making classic figures. These are just me the ones I get from now on. I'm not going to get the smaller ones anymore. As a collect as adult collector, I enjoy these better. So... Keep at it, playmates, and hopefully make them better. So that's up. That's it for our review.
Hope you enjoyed it. This is Nate Rage. Princess Harris 12. See you dudes later. Bye-bye. Uh,